It was a weekend many Lagos residents would like to forget in a hurry following torrential rainfall that wreaked havoc on different parts of the state with attendant loss of lives. Panic gripped residents and motorists as the rain continued unabated in the past few days, leaving the state heavily flooded and sweeping away property. The state government had earlier in March 2022 predicted a high-intensity annual rainfall volume of 170 uh, millimeters with socioeconomic implications for residents. However, the state government urged residents not to panic at the presence of heavy rainfall as arrangements had been put into place to ensure the adequate protection of lives and property. Joining us now to tell us what measures the government is taking to mitigate the situation is the special advisor to Lagos State on uh, to the Lagos State Governor on drainage, Joey Bukwe. Good to have you on Newsday. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Albeit the rain has continued, uh, our, my co-workers and I have been arguing if this is the seven to ten days worth of rain that we are usually warned about every year. And speaking of warnings about rain that we get every year, um, I'm wondering what the Lagos state government's uh, rollout for advising uh, citizens about inclement weather and rainfall is. I know in other countries uh, there are weather advisories. Sometimes the television goes blank and there's a nauseating sound that is made. And this is to ensure that all residents are aware that bad weather is outside and for you to stay in your homes. Um, I'm not aware if that is something we have in Nigeria, and I'm wondering if anything of the sort would be seen to be implemented to help mitigate some of the uh, issues we have. Because we know over the weekend we had heavy rainfall, people still went out, and we had loss of lives due to drowning. So is there any better and more efficient way of alerting our citizens to bad weather and flash floods that the Lagos state government might be working on that we don't know about. Okay, thank you for for having me. And, uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, we do, we do every year. Mm. Before the rains, we always alert Lagosians. I'm asking about while it's raining, you know, Eve, as it's raining, and the rain continues to build up. Is there continuous alert, uh, alerting of, uh, of such to citizens? Because I'm unaware of such. Um, well, um, all we do is to alert Lagosians to begin to organize themselves, you know, begin to prepare for the rainy season. I will also announce the amount of rainfall that we are supposed to witness, you know, within that, that period. And we go to work to clear the canals. You know, Lagos is a coastal city, varying with small land mass, but with almost 23 million Lagosians and more are still coming in. And we also tell them that there are areas that you cannot build houses especially the wetlands. These act as our reservoirs. So when you have something like we had yesterday, you know, you have flash flooding. What we call flash flooding is heavy flooding you see, and within hours, the thing will just vanish. Just like what we saw in um, Okoba, in Agege. Because I went there this morning, and uh, I didn't see... And the, on, on our canals, I didn't see too much volume of water there. It has gone. It, we call it flash flooding. And we go to dredge. We go to clear, clear the, 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 the setbacks. We go to do all kinds of sensitized people, tell them, you know, to, to manage themselves. But, uh, you know, this is Lagos. It will come. It's a coastal city. And don't forget that, that, um, we have Mr. Ibukwe, 11, Mr. Ibukwe, you said you want people to manage themselves. What exactly does that mean? That's a big vague. Can you clarify? 
manage themselves in, is in the sense that if you are in the low lying areas, leave that place because nobody gave you C of O to leave that place. Don't dump anything inside the canals. Don't encroach. Don't build there. These are the things that we tell them. I, I was in Okoba this morning and you see the encroachment into our canal sent back. And we are working on that canal because we, are, we, 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 have been, we have been trying to expand and we are expanding that canal. That's if, it is, if it's a 10 feet canal, we are moving it to 15. You know, to allow that canal to take more volume. We are still there working. So that is what we do. Our main, our, we have a FAG abatement, abatement gang, a, a emergency flood abatement gang, and they're all over the place, almost a thousand of them. Distilling, cleaning the drains, you know, in preparation, preparation for, the, for, for, for the rainy season. But in the, here, people, even if you, we have told people, give, give, give them notice to move. Even if you clear the, the place, even if you demolish, they will still come back and put zinc and live there. So these um, are the things that we're worried about. Okay, um, Mr. Ibukwe, you sound defeated already. Um, no, not, not defeated, not defeated. We're doing our work, not defeated. Don't, 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 don't ever say that. We are not defeated. We are doing our work very well here. Okay. Um, the only thing is that we are yes. struggling with a population and people are still trooping into Lagos. And we have to, you, when you come to live in Lagos, B, and if you live in the low lying areas, you should be prepared for flooding. Oh, but that's the job you signed for in the first place. So let's, let's, let's put that in perspective because certainly we would know that more people will always come into Lagos, a cosmopolitan city. But People ask the question that these floodings are very related to the poor waste management system. They go hand in hand. You get to, when when rains fall, literally the ugly side of Lagos actually comes, literally comes afloat, literally, and it seems to always take the government on our ways every single year because you're speaking about um sensitizing the people but not too good a job is done up until things like this do happen and when we begin to scratch our heads um loss of lives loss of properties damage to cars talk to us what is the government doing to ensure that waste management is done properly to so that the cascading effect will not be some of these drainages being blocked, these canals being blocked, and we're having everywhere, or Lagos looking like Venice, Italy. Mm. i tell you something. We have one canal. There are others like that, System 6, passing through Lagos University Teaching Hospital. If you go to walk there and cut away dredge and move about 100 trucks of refuse, in a month's time, if, if it rains, if you go back to that place, you won't believe that you have done anything. The same thing happens all over Lagos. And we have been educating Lagosians on what, no, that can, our canals is not, that there are not places where you go to dump refuse. They go, on in, in, you know, in the dead of the night to go and do all these things. Once it's raining, you see them, they will be carrying their bags of refuse inside the canals. So no matter how you claim, you still see, you will still say it. And this thing are done under the cover of darkness. So that's what we're saying. We, we are doing our work, but negotiations must also. It's a kind of symbiotic relationship. Now, Mr. Bukhari. We have three types. Let me come. We have three types of drains, you know. We have the, the ter ter tertiary drains, the prime, secondary drains, and the, and, the, and, the, and, the, and the primary drains, the big ones. The, that tertiary one is the one in front of our houses. If we do not dump refuse, you know, inside the tertiary drains, the ones in, the, one, the ones in front of our houses, they will find themselves into the secondary drain and into the primary canals and into the lagoon. So can I ask you my next so question? That now? is what we see oh, almost Mr. every Bukwe, other day. That was, a, that, was a, that was a house. We have to be that mindful of time. So let me just quickly ask you. We have listened to all that you have said. You said that Lagosians mm -hmm. are not cooperating and they are making your job a bit difficult. But according to the warnings that you have given to us, the rains are expected to stop maybe November ending or early December. 
And this cannot continue. So what efforts are being made to ensure that we do not continue to experience this loss of lives and loss of property until the end of the rainy season? You know, if you have, there are certain there's things that are natural that you cannot, you cannot stop. You cannot stop rainfall. And we live in a coastal city. All we do is to continue to do our work. It's a continuum. We don't stop. I, as, as a drainage to the governor of Lagos State, I know the amount of money we spend every year to clean up. So well, what we are saying is that Lagosians, even people who should know better, are flouting our, you know, our laws. Even people who should know better. So what are you they doing hide... about it? What are you doing about those flouting the laws? So that you can get them well, to stop. No, we, 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 we do advocacy. We clear infractions, I mean impediments on our channels. We demolish, you know, people who build on our setbacks. We punish offenders. But punishing offenders has not deterred people from, especially the low, low, low people with insufficient ed education, you know. It, it's very difficult for us. To get them out of low-lying low areas is very difficult. If you chase them today, tomorrow they will return. They will, they will return. So we will continue to do, we continue to learn, we continue to work, and the questions will continue to 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 know that they are part is 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 to take ownership. That's what I'm saying. Take ownership of 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 your area, be part of the progress, and these things will stop. It's not for us to talk. And sometimes people who flout this or this this order this. You know these things that we set up to clean up Lagos are people who are who are who you they have sufficient education. People who should know better. As early as five o'clock, when they are going to work, they will load their boot, boot of their cars with with, with with refuse and go to drop it anywhere inside the canal and go away, and nobody will see them. We have been able to get such people, you know. So we are doing our best. And this place, you know, don't forget, Lagos is one of the Lagos is one of the eleven sinking sinking cities in the world. And I can name the ja Jakarta in Indonesia, Venice in Italy, New Orleans in the US, Lagos, Nigeria, Houston, Texas, uh, Dhaka in Bangladesh, Virginia in Beach, Virginia, you know, yes. Bangkok, Thailand, Rotterdam, you know, Netherlands. Thank you so much for joining the program, sir. And